Yo guys, what up and welcome back to another one. Today we're doing pigeon, 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 pigeon stuff. Pigeon stuff all day long. Got a plan to go find some feed in an unexpected spot, I guess you could say. But check it out, we got old Clark, he's just chilling. Our old blue check old Clark here. And uh, you can tell what I did, I listened to what you guys were telling me down in the comments and a ton of you told me, Bob, get him a roost pole out there. So that's what we did, give him a little place to stand on. And one of you guys had a great, great suggestion. You were like, hey, you need that roost pole in there so to give him a place to sit so he don't keep pooping in his food bowl and his water bowl. Actually, I need to change out your water bowl, guy. You pooped in there, man. Come on. I'm pretty much in the process of designing the loft that we're going to build. And I think we're going to build it literally right here. I like this overhanging tree. It gives it some coverage and a little bit of protection from the rain, from the hail, from the snow. And it gives it really good shade. It needs good shade. And what's even better about it is that this is the south side of my shop. So it'll be completely out of the cold, bitter, stiff north wind that we get here in Kansas. Hey, thanks, train. But we better grab the old pigeon bucket. This is a bucket I use for when we actually do trap one. This is what we throw them in to transport them back here to the house. But like I said, I'm designing the loft and I don't want an enormous one. I don't want a uh, walk-in one. A walk-in one would be really cool, but I don't need one that big. I, I don't plan on having 30 plus birds. That's a lot. That's a bunch. I plan on having maybe five, 10 birds for a while, and then we'll see how that goes. You know what I mean? So keep a lookout, the old pigeon loft building. I'm gonna do a video over it, so it'll be coming. Oh, but right now it is sitting at 9.30 right on the dot. So I like to have the trap set up by 11, so that gives us an hour and a half to go find some feed. Now, if we have to resort to just going to Orchlands or, or TSC or somewhere and buying feed, that's fine. But what this video is over is you all know that we have needed wheat. The pigeons love wheat. That's how I trapped old Clark was because they wanted wheat so bad I put it in Jordan's big trap and and that's how we caught him. He wanted that wheat so bad that he walked in that trap and we snagged him. So finally, two weeks late here in Kansas, they are finally harvesting wheat. It is happening right now. They got started probably two days ago and yesterday they were really getting after it. I miss harvest season so much. I miss, I miss the combine and the grain cart. That's what I did most of the time. Uh, I actually hauled combines quite far, but that's for another day and another story. Today my idea is to go down the dirt road here. They usually load a lot of trucks on my dirt roads south of my house. And there's usually some decent wheat piles on the ground, on the road, in the road. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go scan the roads real quick, see if we can find some, uh, some wheat piles on the road. Ooh, check that out. That was a good pile at one time. Then a lot of cars came through and messed it all up. Really not much there. Find a better pile. Well, we done hit the jackpot, boys. It's really windy out here, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. So this is actually my buddy's cut wheat field, and old Andy, they done pulled out of the field and left a trail of wheat. Goodness. So what I do, I came in and I picked as much of it up as I could. Check that out right there. We got almost a half a bucket full, boys. Yeah, yeah, now we're in business. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't take very long. I've driven probably, I don't know, right at five miles is all it took. And uh, my buddy Andy, hey, hey Andy, thanks for spilling some grain on the, uh, on the old road there. You helped a buddy out. <laughs> if he watches this, he'll get a kick out of it. But yeah, we're gonna head to the truck stop. We're gonna put the traps out and we're gonna put the weed out. This should be a game changer. Well, we are here at the truck stop indeed. Perfect timing, it is 10.30. Made it here in time. The pigeons, like I said, get here right at probably 11. Really start pouring in by noon. And then by like two o'clock, this is full of nothing but pigeons. But we do have a good size pile of Milo here. 
and then that pile of milo there but i'm looking around and there is no weed on the ground that is key i have a really good feeling about this y'all this hole and that water hole right there are the only two sources of water in the whole parking lot and it's where the food primarily is so it's a perfect combination today not a lot of feed scattered out we put the big trap out on this side over here and this is what i did guys i baited it very 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 lightly with the wheat i put a little bit in the door so they'll see it and it'll attract them in that's actually how i caught clark is doing this right here and then as you can see in there i put a lot in the center of the trap and then I sprinkled a, just a hair little trail into the doorway. We caught Clark in the big trap last time, so hopefully it works again. And then over here on the old spring trap, check it out. We got the wheat just in the tray only. Last time I set this out, I had the food all out here. And one of you guys made perfect sense. You dropped a comment down there in the comment section. And you were like, Bobby, that food tray is there for a reason use it make that the only place that they can get that wheat and i was like man you're right so not only trapping the pigeons but even building the loft at home keeping clark at home i want to give a big old thank you to you guys you guys have really been hooking it up down in the comment section and giving me your two cents which has helped me a ton your tips and your how-tos, man. I'm telling you what, you guys have taught me a lot when it comes to trapping these bad boys. So I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the new subscribers here that are here for the pigeon videos. I appreciate you. And I plan on making these pigeon videos bigger and better with the loft and with more birds. Well, back here at the house, and I actually found another spot on the side of the road where someone dumped a bunch more grain. Look at all that good old yummy wheat we got. But we already put some in here for old Clark. What do you think, dude? You like it? Well, we're headed back to the truck stop, and like I said, they are cutting the wheat today, boys. Well, check it out. They're all out here in the parking lot again. I gotta go herd them around. It's one thing about these pigeons. You can do this with pigeons. It's not illegal. You can't do this with, like, ducks and waterfowl, stuff like that. You can't go herding them like this but we can use a truck to herd them back to the feed just keep pushing them a little bit like this you know not bad let them do their thing <laughs> it worked they're right back where they need to be walking up on the uh, trap right now i wish i had a long lens for my camera that's the next thing i'm gonna get is one of them big old long lenses so we can sit here and watch them together Well, I got the car today. What are you doing, man? What are you doing in mom's car, huh? Oh, yeah. Me and old Frederick, we got stuck with the old Maxima today. Two boys and old Maxine, huh? But earlier this morning, I already went out and sat up both traps and uh, the fam bam, they went to the store and I'm like, Fred, you wanna go with me and old Maxine to go check our traps? So. We're sitting right at noon today. Like I said, it is the next day. And I'm hoping we trap something today. If we don't trap something, at least we brought Fred and his bumper so we can go to the pond and do some work. Well, we're here, Frederick. Do you think we got anything? I'm kind of doubtful myself, too. Well, pulling on up here, and there is no pigeons here yet. Oh, we got something in the trap, boys. We got something in the trap. What is that? Oh my goodness. Fred, we just trapped a starling. No way. Oh my goodness. That's a first. This was not planned. I put it on my mama. I put it on my wife. I put it on my family. Oh, be darn. That starling is not happy. Before we get out of the car here, Starlings are an invasive species, just so you know. If you didn't know, now you know. We shoot them all year long and there's no seasons. You can get rid of them in a lot of different fashions. And trapping them is obviously one of them because it just happened. Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Here, here, here. Let's go. Come on, dude. Let's go. Come on. Oh, check this out right here. That is a juvenile starling, too. 
here he is. He's he is not happy that he's in there. I can tell you that right now. Check him out. That is a very, very, very young starling. Extremely young starling. He is completely gray, completely brown. Most all adult starlings, y'all, they are jet black. When they're babies, they're that color right there. So that pretty much explains why he's in that trap. He's not very smart. I knew it would eventually happen. I just, I didn't expect it today. I was like, man, we better take Fred along because we're probably not gonna have anything trapped and we're gonna have to get some content here for y'all and boom. You never know what to expect around the corner, y'all. I'm telling you. Fred, he's, that's the first time he's been out here. He's like, where am I? What's all this smelly stuff? What stinks? Fred, no, no, no. Here, 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 here. No, that's mud, that's nasty mud. Come here, buddy. He's trying to get in the nasty water and mud set. A lot of you know this is all nasty, nasty wet grain and it stinks. Well, I've been really thinking about what we should do with him here. He's freaking out. Starlings are not a caged bird. So I got the door open here. I'm just basically trying to get him to fly out. There he goes. See you, dude. I'm feeling nice today, okay? I'm just feeling nice today. It's one of them days. You know, I could have grabbed him and rang his neck and dispatched him and everything. Just feeling good today. Aren't we Frederick? Yeah! Starlings, if you don't know, like I said, they are an invasive species. They are a pest bird. They're legal to kill, trap, shoot all year long. So, I mean, we could have took it home. We could have killed it and used it for training for Fred, which I don't want to do that with starlings because they can carry some nasty stuff. Well, look where we're at, Fred. What do you think? Are you ready? He's like, oh yeah. Look, I'll even sit for you. You ain't even got to say anything, Dad. I'm ready to go. Heal. Good. Fred. Yeah, I hope I filmed that okay. It's hard to hold the camera and throw the bumper at the same time. Here, Fred. Heal. Heal. Sit. Good. Stay. Fred. Good. <laughs> well, thank goodness we brought a towel with us, dude. Thank goodness we thought ahead, huh, sweet boy? Now, we can't tell Beth about this, guys. <laughs> but I'm really, really, really glad you guys are here for this one. The Starling Trap, completely unexpected. Did not expect that to happen today, at least. I knew it would eventually happen, but I just had no idea it would be this morning. But it worked out perfect. We made an awesome video out of this. We got Fred out on some water training. By the way, if you guys want to see more Fred training, I have some awesome videos to come. You guys don't want to miss them. But thanks for being here again, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. And if you have any ideas for videos that y'all want me to do, you know what to do. Drop them down in the comment section below. But till next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.